Today on Film Learning, we're making this. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. And yes, I know this isn't the Devo prison effect that I teased a few days ago, but I'm still working on that, just perfecting it a little bit. So I thought I might tackle these requests. So a few of you have asked for a flash title template for the TV spots that you see on YouTube and of course TV. So that's what we're doing today guys. Now this is a super, super simple template. You are seriously changing like maybe two things tops? <laughs> what? Exactly, but you will need a couple of things. One, you'll need a copy of After Effects CC 2013 or higher, you'll need to download Animation Composer. It's a plugin that drives a couple of the bits of animation in the template. You can download that down in the description. And of course, you'll also need to head to videocopilot.net and grab yourself a copy of Saber. But that's it, gang. Everything else, including the fonts, is in this pack. So, enough of that. Let's get to work, shall we? Okay guys, here we are in After Effects and I've got my template all open and ready to go. And I just wanted to touch on a couple of things that you can edit just before we get into the uh, main Cinema 4D editing. And that is, you can completely change this lettering here. You're not going to affect the animation at all, as well as this one right here. And as far as the logo animation goes, you can drop your own logo into this by using the old click here, hold the Alt key and drop a brand new logo right in there, then you probably will have to scale it up because this logo is enormous. So you can see that it's sitting on about 5%. So you might need to scale that one up. Bye, kitty. <coughs> but enough of that. Let's actually get into editing our Cinema 4D text. So if we open this up here, you can see that we've got our Cinema 4D text. In the final one, it's actually got some effects on it. And that's just a radial blur and a slight human saturation. And both of those things are just helping it to ape that it's actually got motion blur on it. So it's a little bit of a cheat just to help you guys render this a bit faster. But enough of that jibber jabber. Let's head back to the project file right here. And all we're going to do is jump in here and edit our Cinema 4D text. So in order to do that, we highlight it, head up to edit, and we'll go edit original and that will open up Cinema 4D. And I've already got it open, so I'm just gonna do a quick jump cut using a very professional sound effect as always. Uh. So guys, here we are in Cinema 4D. It's a pretty basic comp. All it is is a slight zoom out, and there's an animated light up here. And there's Dexter on the monitor. He's just about woken up. So guys, there's a couple of things going on here that I just wanted to talk about. Now, the easiest things to change is just the that text right here. You can see that if I want to, I can just change that very, very easily. I'm just going to undo that. <laughs> oh, me and my farts. And the other one here is a little bit more complicated to flash. As you can see down here, I've got FL and then I've got a couple of spaces. Then I've got the SH. And that's because this A is actually a custom design spline. Now what that actually means is that A cannot be edited in any way, shape or form unless you want to jump in and actually edit the spline yourself. So at the moment if you want to customize this and have your title without an A in your name, you're kind of screwed when it comes to <laughs> having the bolt in your name. But it's not a deal breaker. So if I was to say change this text to, let's just go with fart, I'll go F, I'll go a couple of spaces, maybe three, and then I'll put the R and the T. And then what we'll do is grab our A and just move it over. So you can see that it works pretty easy with any sort of word that has an A. Now I'm just gonna undo that. But say you don't actually have an A in your name. Well, that's pretty easy. All we have to do is just turn those two off like so, and then we can just type it out as normal. So I'll just say learning and then I'll just adjust it in the place or we'll just adjust that and then we'll go over and we'll adjust the the there yeah. and if we hit play you can see works just fine and you can see I've typed out something with an A in it anyway but you get my point. It's very easy to edit and it's also very, very easy to render. Now, 
I'm going to just undo that and go straight back to everything that I've done there because I was actually happy with it. And once we're done with all that, we're just going to head up, hit file, hit save, and that will auto update in After Effects and we can jump back there. Now guys, if you do have any more questions about anything you've seen here, leave them down in the comment section because I'm happy to answer them. So here we are back in After Effects and we've got our edited 3D text. What I want to do here is go into the text itself, click on it, head on up to Effects Controls, and from there, we're going to hit it onto Standard Final. Let's then hit Control M and render this out. So I'm going to click on Lossless. I'm going to head it down. Choose QuickTime. Make sure our format is set to Animation. Hit OK. Then I'm just going to hit the Render button and we'll jump back when it's already imported. OK, so we're back and our logo has been imported. So I'm just going to drag and drop that straight in here. And then I'm going to turn off the Cinema 4D file. Then if I head over to Final, we can do a quick render. And if we check out a preview, our logo is now completely done. And how friggin' easy was that? Super easy, guys. Super easy. That is the answer. Now, I just want to touch on one last thing before we close this one out. If you have typed out your 3D text and you don't have a bolt here, very simple. Turn it off. But say you do have a bolt and your A is not in its exact position. All you need to do is just hit M, bring up the mask path, and then just change the position of your bolt to actually marry up with the A that's in your scene. All you have to do is do that for each of these keyframes and you're good to go. But that, my friends, is the end of our Flash title card episode and that is another title template. Mm, done. Add up those couple of steps and then you get something like this. So guys, that is my take on that Flash title card that you see on TV spots and the YouTube clips. I think this is the most accurate I've ever gotten one of these title templates, so I'm pretty happy with it, and I hope you are too. Now before I go, I just want to give a big shout out to The Blast. That guy helped me immensely putting this together by finding me the fonts that I needed and just giving me some guidance overall, as well as some sound effects. So by all means, check out his channel. He has a whole bunch of sound effects there for you to download for free. And he's just an awesome guy. You can follow him on Twitter as well right here. But for now guys, that is my time. I will be back later in the week with that Devote Prison effect, so stay tuned for that. And hey, if you're new here, why not hit that subscribe button and join the 100,000 plus that have also done that and hit that notification bell too so you don't miss a single film on an episode like these ones over here. I've also got my social media crap above my head as well as the Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. And until I see you again, gang, keep learning.